Hi everyone. Continue to pray for my health, our finances, worldwide salvation. Always pray that you're found worthy. Pray for my friend Teresa. Lost her mom recently and for um, her to be able to get help with the funeral funds. Excuse me. Pray for Bobby. Her health, her back's really hurting her today. Um, if you have prayer, just let me know. Letting Go and Trusting God. 180 Devotions for Life's Tough Decisions by Pamela L. McQuaid. Oh yeah, also pray I got an appointment tonight for a doctor, so pray everything goes good with that. Um, let me see. Closed door. So fear the Lord and serve him wholeheartedly. Serve the Lord alone. <clears throat> but if you refuse to serve the Lord, <clears throat> then choose today whom you will serve. But as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord, Joshua 24, 14 through 15. Joshua ended his ministry to God's people with the reminder of God's faithfulness to his nation. He had brought them into a promised land filled with many tribes and enabled them to conquer the land. With this reminder, the prophet pointed out that it was time for the people to remember their side of the covenant. Israel's devotion to God was not to be half-hearted or partial. He didn't expect them to serve him when it was convenient while worshiping pagan deities in crisis times. Either they would serve him or choose another, but each person had to make a decision who their Lord was. They could serve the Lord or the ancient gods of their forefathers or even the Amorite gods whose people they had conquered, but they couldn't serve more than one. God is a jealous God. He will not take our leftover worship. Just like the people of Israel, we either choose to serve him or give our allegiance to another. But the option of serving him and another is a closed door. Have you made a conscious decision about whom you will serve? If not, now is a perfect decision time. All right. I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your Wednesday. God bless.